Robert with Oakwood Lawn Maintenance and this is my dream team. Let's start with the EBZ, the Red Max. This is the 7500. This is the 8500 and this is the 8550 and if you've seen my other videos this is the self-propelled 13 horsepower Billy Goat. This is what I call my dream team. Uh, let's start with the 7500 here. The 7500, I tend to use this more on wet clumps of grass and wet stuck done, like in the spring of the year. I'm going to show you a little bit of cleanup. I got a fence line that I got to clear. Uh, and it tends to, the leaves tend to stick and they're all wet and nasty. So this is, this is what I would use because it has the speed. 230 some miles an hour, the wind comes out of here pretty good. And as you go up to the 8550, the speed goes down, but you get more volume. Volume of air, it's, it makes it a lot easier to push a lot of, lot of leaves all at once for the new guys. But I haven't had any problems with these Red Max blowers. We'll take a closer look here. You know, they're all pretty much designed the same. And obviously I purchased them at Wine Guards, pretty good store. Uh, starting with the EB7500. I believe this is like 236 miles an hour, but the volume of air is down around 700 CFM, I believe. And then at the top end, I think this EBZ8550, uh, the speed, the air speed is like 206, and then the air volume is up there near 1000 CFM. So in full swing of fall season, this is the one that I tend to go to just because it's got a lot of power. I can move a lot of leaves very fast. Now the combination, I would wear one of these backpacks and run this self-propelled walk-behind blower. And man, the combination is killer. You could really move some leaves fast. Uh, and a lot of times I'll actually stage this leaf blower, the walk-behind here, in a gate, open gate or something, and I'll actually shoot the leaves with the backpack blower to that and it shoots it out. So. Yeah, we're gonna walk this fence line here to show you what I got going on. Basically, leaves are stuck at the bottom of the fence. We're just gonna clean this up a little bit and then we're gonna blow some of the leaves out into the woods there. We're out in the country and we can do that.
just wanted to point something out real quick. This area here. Now this is from mulched up leaves sitting on here all winter. And this is what you get. So here's an example. Here's an example there. You can kind of see it. See how it's real wet. It's killing the grass, creates mold right there. A lot of areas. Whoever did this cleanup last year, that's what the customer was concerned about there. It's not the best backyard, but he doesn't want to encourage mold growth. That's what you get. Now I'm just talking to some of the newer guys when you're doing a fall cleanup and you're mulching and you do get piles like that, just disperse it with your backpack blower. Just come up and blow it left and right and trying to get it out as much as you can out of the yard. So with that being said, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good season 2021. And uh, for me, this combination here, whether it's the 7500 or the 8550, this is a killer combination. That's all I got to say. Hey, see you next Tuesday. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe. Man, I'm out of shape. I got to do some more. Get back into shape.